What's going on guys? This is Mark of Flex Marks a Spot. Today we're going to have a little bit of a shorter video. I'm going to be going over why I'm returning my Rogue Fitness MG4C Multigrip Cambered Bar and detailing the process on how I'm going about doing that. Stay tuned. So for those of you who follow me on other social media platforms, you guys already know that I'm a pretty big fan of the original MG4C multi-grip cambered bar that's mouthful. Um, there was a lot to like about this bar, although it wasn't perfect. I really like the ability to customize it to fit your needs. So I specifically really like that you can get shorter sleeves and that you can get the specific handle angles that were more appropriate for your build. So right off the bat, um, I, I did really like this bar for the most part. The major complaint I have with this bar is just how massive it is. So it's 10 inches wide, which is consistent with Rogue's older multi-grip bars, and they carry that over here, and I mean, that makes sense. But the problem is when you add the camber in, um, that adds a lot of like instability, and then if you don't like necessarily uh, grab the handles like right in the center, you'll have a harder time balancing it out. Although that was an annoyance for me, it wasn't a deal breaker. I feel like the other pros of the bar really made up for it, and it was something I, I personally was willing to overlook. Another common complaint with this bar is with the handles themselves. So these handles measure in at 6.75 inches tall and at 28.5 millimeters wide, which is consistent with Rogue's Ohio bar. And a lot of people didn't like that it was at the uh, multi-purpose bar uh, diameter as opposed to a power bar diameter or a lot of specialty bars that are even bigger than that. So uh, that's another thing that's been kind of, you know, circulating in a lot of the reviews. I actually had some reservations about that, but when I was using the bar, I didn't think it was that big of an issue. Um, I mean, I preferred the wider ones, you know, like when I used the Kabuki Cadillac bar, for example, but th that wasn't really something I thought about too much when I was using this bar. So um, that's a minor thing, but, um, in my opinion, but a lot of people had some really big reservations about that and they're probably bigger bench pressers than I am. So I uh, can't really fault them there. But for me, I didn't think it was that big of an issue. So my issues weren't necessarily with the bar itself. As I mentioned, it wasn't perfect, but I thought it was pretty good. And I really liked the customizability, like I mentioned before. What I didn't like is that shortly after this bar was rolled out, uh, Rogue decided to uh, roll out pre-orders for the MG4CN, which stands for Multi-Grip Cambered Bar Narrow. Uh, so that's essentially this exact same bar, except for it's narrower. So instead of 10 inches, it's down to 7.1 inches. And also instead of these uh, handles being 6.75 inches tall, they are five inches tall. And the diameter of those ones are 32 millimeters as opposed to 28.5 on this one. So it kind of looks like Rogue took all the feedback that was provided for this bar and took it and fixed the other bar and immediately released it. Bill Henninger, the owner of Rogue Fitness, has actually come out since and said that that wasn't the case, that they actually had other bars in development and he released a bunch of pictures of other variants of uh, this type of bar and said that it's uh, this one and the narrow version there, just one of them, a couple of the many bars that are gonna be released that are uh, very similar in like the, the customizable features. So there's that. I wasn't the only one that was upset that Rogue released a new bar that seemed to fix everything that was wrong with this bar shortly after this one released. Well-known Rogue shill basement Brandon even came out saying that, you know, uh, putting out a video that uh, uh, saying that he was pretty upset with how this was handled and he kind of felt like uh, he was, you know, kind of screwed over by Rogue being an early adopter and he was kind of the people's champion in expressing that uh, sentiment. Uh, since um, pretty much everyone that I've talked to really felt that way, minus like one person that I've seen online. Um, but yeah, that was kind of, uh, everyone felt a little burned by Rogue by that. As a result of the backlash, Rogue Fitness owner Bill Henninger came out and pretty much said that that was not their intention to pull a fast one on Rogue customers and that uh, this bar was just the first in the uh, line of this type of bar and uh, that anyone who bought this bar can go ahead and swap it out for the narrow version if they want. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do with this one. Wanted to make sure we're clear that this system will have tons of variants. Pick shows those that are launched and a couple in the works. Trap bar variants as well. If you grab one of the first variants and would like to change out, let us know and we'll swap out the frames handles. 
We're always listening and not trying to get one over on anyone. Just email team at roguefitness.com. Even though I really like this bar, if I had known that Rogue was going to release multiple variations of this with uh, different uh, frame sizes and so forth, I would have definitely held off and picked the one that I thought would have been best for me. So that's the main reason I'm going to be swapping mine out. My initial plan when the narrow version was announced was I was going to buy that one and I was going to try to sell this one and minimize the loss as much as possible. But luckily, we're able to do the frame swap. So when I reached out to Rogue Fitness Customer Service, this is what I was told. If you'd like to proceed with the exchange of the frame and handles, we can get your order canceled and refunded. That's the narrow one. To proceed, please follow the RMA process using our returns link here. You will select the bar for return, but we'll only be sending back your frame and handles. In the notes, please note that this return is associated with the MG4 frame swap. The customer will be responsible for the return shipping, but we will take care of the shipping back to you. If you would like quoted our discounted rates for the return shipping, we would be happy to assist with the return label and quote you accordingly. Thanks. For anyone else in the same situation who wants to swap out their frame and handles for the narrow version, I suggest taking Rogue's offer on using their shipping rates and uh, shipping it back using uh, one of their labels. So the cost for me was $24.17. And with that, they sent me a new label and I just have to find a box and repackage this up and send it out. And then from there, like they said, they're going to pay for the shipping of the new bar back to me. So essentially, you know, it's um, I'm going to be paying a little bit extra on this uh, narrow version of the bar versus what I paid here. But um, at the end of the day, I guess, you know, Rogue didn't necessarily have to uh, do right by us and um, let us swap these out. Um, they realized that they kind of, you know, messed up on the communication part. And I really appreciate them uh, doing right by the customer and at least giving us that option especially for those of us who are well past the return and exchange window. So anyone in the same situation who's going to do these swap outs, you are going to keep your sleeves. These are going to be the ones that you use on your new bar, so do not ship these back. Uh, so you are going to need to remove these from the frame, which can be a little bit of a process. Uh, what worked for me was I took off the handles and I put some WD-40 here on the uh, thicker part that's um, outside. And I grabbed a, a two by four, placed it, up here against the uh, inside of the sleeve and I grabbed a sledgehammer and just kind of, you know, knocked it out and that worked fine. Um, everything I tried before that um, didn't seem to budge, but that that's what worked for me and it was relatively easy. So um, that's what worked for me and maybe, maybe that'll work for you. Maybe you guys found a better method. If you did, let me know in the comments, but uh, yeah, so that's what I did. One more thing to note about the frame swap is that Rogue will be sending you back the exact same configuration on the new bar that you are sending back. So in my case, I have one set of straight handles, a 20 degree set and a 16 degree set. So that's what I'll be getting back from Rogue um, on the narrow variant. So uh, just something else uh, to keep in mind. Um, you're, you won't be able to make any changes or modifications when you're switching this out. You're kind of stuck getting exactly what you have here. The box that I'm using here to send back my MG4C and handles is the Kabuki Strength Cadillac bar uh, for the version that's being manufactured by Rogue. I did actually pick that one up also. I'm still planning on doing a full length review and comparison on all of the multi-grip cambered bars, the more, more popular ones out there. I've been planning on doing this since like February, I think, but um, new bars keep coming out and um, I want to make it as comprehensive as possible. So I keep picking up those other ones I'm eventually going to sell off most of them and keep, you know, maybe like one or two, the ones that I like the most, but um, yeah, so that's what, that's the, that's what this box is. And that's why I'm sending back my Rogue Fitness MG4C multi-grip camber bar, still a mouthful, uh, but yeah. So thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, follow on other social media platforms for other also home gym content and just have a great rest of your day. Thanks.